What is going on, Adventure Nation? In this episode, we start exploring Los Brillas and the surrounding area with our caravan peeps. We see some turtles, we take a peek at a property, we stop by Historic El Triumfo, we swim with whale sharks, and I wish that we had more to show you, but we don't. This is Life with Paul and Lorena. Turtle hatching season in Los Brillas happens between October and December, and we were fortunate enough to have a big one a couple of days after we arrived. If you ever wondered how they plant turtles. Yeah. <laughs> and then what you do? Yeah. All right, this is this is exciting for us because uh, our property starts right here at this cement uh, monument. This is where they have the electric in there for the our neighbor's property. That's Wolfgang and Elizabeth. Our property starts there. We're going to have another one of those on this side. That's where our electric will go. The electric is already here. We just haven't built our box and uh, the meter to our property yet. Property will start there, and it goes down to this other wooden post here just before where Lorena is talking to the landscaper who's clearing the property for us and in two years this place I don't know I don't remember what the pictures look like before but I know in two years holy smokes it has grown up a lot so we're gonna have some of this cleared out so that we can move the RV over here as soon as possible and then start working more on the property figuring out where the house is gonna go where uh, the garage is gonna go and all of that kind of stuff. I'm still trying to talk Lorena into like a three or 400 square foot house with about a four or 5,000 square foot garage, but that's, I don't think gonna happen. I'm trying. So while you were talking to the uh, landscaper, I was telling everyone about my concept for like 400 square foot house with about a 5,000 square foot garage. And so I was just kind of hoping that you were gonna get on board Do with that. Do you have a different property in mind? Because it's not happening on this one. <laughs> I, was, I, I gotta try. So, are you excited? I think you that's a guy thing. It is a guy thing. <laughs> are you excited, I'm excited to get started? I'm excited because I'm starting, like, first it felt like surreal. Like, yeah, we have some in Mexico, just a piece of land in Mexico, but now it's like real. Like, you see the people working in your actual land. So, it's just kind of cool. Now, all these weeds are ours. <laughs> all these weeds, a piece of dirt, are ours. It is pretty, it is pretty cool. Uh, overgrown in the last two years it's amazing how overgrown it's become yes. but uh but it's our overgrowth and uh, we're gonna slowly get it cleaned up and get ready to roll so awesome we've got some before pictures we'll have some after pictures after we get it cleared and then uh and then we'll go from there yeah all right let's go get something to eat Anytime we have new people come down to Los Brillas, we make it a point to drive to El Triunfo and take a walk around this quaint little town. So we went down, checked it out a little bit. They're doing a great job of restoring many of the buildings and they now have a mining museum, a cowboy museum for you to check out if you like. And it's a great spot just to spend an afternoon out exploring and getting some steps in. Today we have taken a little side, like half day trip and we are in El Triunfo. And El Triunfo is this historic little town just north of Los Brills. We've been here quite a few times before. It's just a beautiful little town. And the El Triunfo Cafe has amazing bread and pastries. And it also has great pizza. Today's gonna be a nightmare because about 40 people walked in all at the same time. R12, another 15. I see a few tables of four and five. So it's gonna be interesting to see how long lunch takes, but this is the El Triunfo Cafe. Oh, hard in the sun, let's see. Go over this way. Look at the doors and stuff though. Just the entryways, just amazing. We've always wanted to sit up here and never have because it's just the I two know. of us. I know. Get on paid lecture group, so somebody's going to have this small table. That's all right. I'll sit up there. 
Craig, are you going to sit at the kids' table now that your mouth is full? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Well, Brian's already at the kitty table, so that'll work. <laughs> I know my place in London. <laughs> <laughs> 1938 Buick. Original motor, 40,000 miles on it. Look at that thing. That is awesome. This is the story of the El Triunfo bread, so you folks will have to read that. Why don't you read it aloud? Let's have story time. Story time? No thanks. <laughs> Game off! The next morning. Well, it is about 4.55 in the morning, and we're just getting ready to roll out to La Paz. And today we're swimming with whale sharks. It's gonna be so cool. Uh, we have done this before, but uh, we're going with a bunch of the folks in the group who have not. So it's, it's gonna be really cool to see their reactions when they come out of the water after swimming with them. You ready? I want to see my reaction. Even done the, I have done it before. It's just still amazing. It, it is. It's an, an absolute incredible experience. So highly recommend. Hopefully I'll remember to film some of this. I do have my GoPro ready. So we still have sleepy voices. Oh my goodness. Let's I'm go. so tired. I can hear steps outside. All right. We made it. Made it to La Paz. Took uh, longer than expected. There was a lot of traffic. Yeah. We didn't come with the rush hour part of it. Yeah. <laughs> so we're here at the Marina in La Paz making our way over. Find our boat. And then we're gonna go out and swim with some whale sharks. You guys ready for that? Yeah. So we are missing how many people then? Just once in the bathroom. Uh, I don't know. Somewhere straight? <laughs> Somewhere straight. We're still going. All right, Lori, it's going down. We're going, going into a three hour tour. <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> no, literally, yes. Okay, Lori, I'm gonna have you grab a grab the GoPro from me. All right, we are leaving the marina, heading out onto the bay to go swim with some whale sharks. This is gonna be super, super cool. After leaving the harbor, all boats head across the bay to get authorization to head into the whale shark habitat. The tour we went on was with Anna Cabo with La Paz VIP Tours. We like Anna, and they only put two people plus your guide in the water at any one time, so this causes a little less stress for the whale sharks. I think the first two in the water were Debbie and Randy, and they seemed to have a blast. You guys got So uh, how was it, Randy? Was oh, it was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was really good, no doubt. But you got to swim fast to keep up to them. Though. Yeah, but, yeah, oh they, they are a lot faster than you think. And it's not very deep here. No, it's what, 10, 12 feet? Yeah, it's wonderful. The water's warm. Don't come here. Yeah, don't is come that here. Was <laughs> exactly. don't, don't. Yeah, don't say that, Randy. <laughs> Pretty soon it was Lorena and my turn to get in the water. As soon as we jumped in, I turned around, the whale shark was right in my face, or I guess I could say that I was right in its face, and I tried to back up without startling the shark because you don't want to get slammed with one of these big animals' tails. Now I was getting some amazing footage, and that is when my GoPro decided to die. And I don't mean the battery, I just mean the, the camera died. Nice. After everyone got a turn in the water, we headed back to the marina. 
we swung by a huge ocean liner, nearly get hit by a yacht, and then cruise along the coast south of La Paz just checking out the huge resorts. It's a pretty cool ride in the bay. By looking at how quiet everyone was on the boat, I don't know if they were exhausted from all the swimming or sick from the boat ride. I'm sure they'll never tell. We made it back into the dock and everyone's getting off the boat. It was a fantastic ride, wasn't it? Don't it come. was. <laughs> don't yeah, come. No, Send no. pesos. Like Send pesos. <laughs> All right, what do you think, Lori? Oh my goodness, look at that hair. That's some windblown boat we, hair. We have cell hair, boat hair. <laughs> what do you think? It was amazing, and this time versus last time we did, it was amazing visibility. Yeah, the visibility was much better this time, so that so was good. We were able to see the spots and the uh, what is the little ones that stick to them? Uh, remoras in Spanish, I don't know. in English, remorse. Hopefully, we got some good video. We'll see. My GoPro quit in the middle of it, so yeah, not good. Sorry, people waiting for us. Oh yeah. <laughs> As always, folks, we appreciate you coming along for the ride. If this is your first time here, it would be amazing if you hung out with us a little bit, got to know us, and that means you should smash that subscribe button and click the notifications bell so that you'll get notified anytime we have a new video coming up. Uh, it would be equally as cool if you liked this video, and we'll see you again in the next one. Thanks for watching.